All right, 8countnews.com. Is here with heavyweight contender, Chaz Witherspoon. Chaz, you just did your thing. Uh, second round knockout. Talk about your performance tonight. Um, well, I would have to go back and see it. Uh, yeah, I would have to go back and see it and look at it on tape in order to rate it. But uh, I just basically went out there and felt him out the first round because he was a, a last-minute opponent. And then in the second round, he tried to come out, gain a little confidence, tried to jump on me. And I wanted to uh, quell that, so I, I jumped right back on him and... I heard him, so I just took the opportunity to get him out of there. Now, the first knockout was a one-two. You set up the left jab and then just pulse him off with that right hand. Talk about that a little bit. Um, well, I was just trying to fail him out and see where he was putting his head on defense, and I seen he kept pulling out, pulling out. So I actually uh, showed the left hook and, and threw the right hand and slid right between his defense and caught him. Now, what happened to uh, your original opponent? How come, what, 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 how come he didn't show up? Any, any word um, on that? From what they told me, he got locked up. I mean, I don't really <laughs> want to put that out there and have somebody and have wrong news, but that's what they told me. He got in a little bit of trouble and uh, he ended up getting locked up. You know, so, I mean, as fate would have it, I ended up fighting somebody from Mississippi. But What happened to this guy tonight? Maybe he was better off in jail, this guy that was supposed to fight you. Maybe so. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know. I was coming to do my thing regardless. It's my first time fighting the sixth round in so long. Yeah. So I wanted to just run out there and start going because I'm used to fighting ten rounds. But I just wanted to take my time and uh, you know not get caught up in listening to the crowd. And when he flurried, the crowd started right, right. cheering. And see, my pride allowed me to you know start fighting. And, and I just wanted to stay tight, stay smart. Get him out of there. One of, the, one of the things that Peterson's did very good is they built that fan base around here in the Memphis area. Yeah. Now, you're, you're a new guy here. A lot, of, a lot of people know the Witherspoon name, but some of these guys are rooting for the Mississippi guy because they're, they do just, they just know local. He's a Mississippi yeah. guy. So uh, it'll take you a little while to build the fan base up, but what is your, what is your goal on that? How, how quick do you want to do that? Um, well, I want to do it as soon as possible. This is definitely, they definitely have a good fight crowd around here. And I'm actually about to go back out there and shake hands and meet some of the people. So, I mean, that's my plan to let the people get the chance to know me a little bit. And I have a chance. I feel, I feel as though I can win them over. And last, before I, before I let you go, talk about Pride Fight Promotions. Uh, new on board. Everybody's ex excited to have you around. I'm excited to be here. Um, they're a top-rate promotional company, first class all the way. Um, they're treating me excellent. And, uh, I mean, they, they even treated me good when I was on the other side. And I wasn't part of Pride Fight. But now that I'm in the family, you know, they're treating me like a king. So um, I have nothing but good things to say about prize fight, and I think we're going to go to the top. All right, you got any closing thoughts for your fans? Uh, thank you all for supporting me. Stay with me. I'm still a work in progress, but I'm trying to get it together. And uh, I'm going to stay in the gym, and I'm going to stay true to the sport. Okay, appreciate your time, Chad. Thank you.